One fine day, a bus driver went to the bus garage, started his bus, and drove off along the route. No problems for the first few stops. A few people got on, a few got off, and things went generally well. At the next stop, however, a big hulk of a guy got on, six feet eight, built like a wrestler, arms hanging down to the ground. He glared at the driver and said, Big John doesn't need to pay, and sat down at the back. Did I mention that the driver was five feet three, thin, and basically meek? Well, he was, naturally, he didn't argue with Big John, but he wasn't happy about it. The next day, the same thing happened. Big John got on again, made a show of refusing to pay, and sat down, and the next day, and the one after that, and so forth. This grated on the bus driver, who started losing sleep over the way. Big John was taking advantage of him, finally, he could stand it no longer. He signed up for bodybuilding courses, karate, judo, and all that good stuff. By the end of the summer, he had become quite strong. What's more, he felt really good about himself. So on the next Monday, when Big John once again got on the bus and said, Big John doesn't pay, the driver stood up, glared back at the passenger, and screamed, And why not? With a surprised look on his face, Big John replied, Big John has a bus pass. Moral of this story is always ask why and why not. As a consultant, we must question, be it with the internal or external audience. Asking relevant questions would help us better understand the problem statement. First, understand and narrow down to the actual problem, and then put the hard work to resolve it, unlike the above story.